when I decide I want to do something, that's kind of it. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so eventing is like a triathlon. You have three phases and you have to compete all three on the one horse. The best thing I've done is when I won Adelaide Young Rider. It's definitely the biggest event in Australia. My aim's always been to get on an Australian team and to do the best I can on the horses I've got. It was 2016 and I was at Wandon International. I'd started really well in cross country and then I landed from a fence um, and I turned and he just fell over on the flat and it was like whiplash. It's called a diffuse axonal injury where your brain kind of bounces around in your skull. I was in an induced coma for seven days in ICU. Post-injury, I was in post-traumatic amnesia for 36 or 38 days. They sort of stand you up in intensive care and give you the news that, you know, the loved one might not come back and they might not come back the same as they were. Apparently they used to stick cotton buds in my mouth to clean my teeth and I just remember saying to Mum, oh, I have this really weird feeling of people sticking cotton buds in my teeth and she's like, oh yeah, they did that. I remember I used to cry every day. I did not believe until I was out of hospital that this had actually happened to me and that this was my life from now on and I had to overcome all these things. It felt like the event was yesterday. I was like, Mum, I've got to get back to the event. I'm winning on D and I'm coming second on Roderick. I've got a show jump. And Mum was like, Izzy, darling, like it's been over a month since then. When I came home, everything's rehab. So eating with a knife and forks rehab, riding with the pens rehab, walking outside's rehab. So everything's rehab for your brain. People said to me that I shouldn't ride again. And I said, if I can't ride, then I may as well have died in the accident. It's what I love, it's what I want to do with my life. That is my whole life, seven days a week. I've never got scared. The only time I ever feel a bit like, ooh, is when it's slippery and you're turning a corner and you can feel the ground moving under your horse's feet and you're like, ooh. I just said to mum, I just want to get on a horse just to show that I can do it. Mum thought that I was just going to get on and go for a walk. And I walked about 10 steps and then I started trotting. She's like, no, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm fine. Things were a little bit unco. The message from my brain to my body didn't work as well. I didn't have to learn to walk again. It's just the pathway that told my body how to do it had been damaged. I had to recreate that pathway. I remember jumping Roderick and I was like, oh, that's a bit of a close spot. I need to sit up here and obviously I thought it but my body did not sit up and I sent that horse through that vertical. He took that rail for like three metres and I was like, oh, sorry Roderick. <laughs> so I realised that when I thought something I had to like really exaggerate the message to my body. <laughs> you don't laugh, you're going to cry. So, you know, when I'd fall over or I'd lose my balance or things like that, I'd just sort of laugh. It's easy to come back from that place that she was probably in after such a severe head injury. You know, it's remarkable. When I had my injury, I thought, oh, I've got enough money to start equine rehab, and then I did not have enough. I couldn't even afford the shed. Um, so it's been a long process. I have an aqua treadmill that fills with water. Where you fill the water to depends on what muscle group you work. Ultimately, what you're doing is conditioning the horse. So you're either conditioning it from the injury that it had, or you're conditioning your horse to prevent injury in the stables last week for 48 hours because he's had some uh, lameness issues. Very lucky to have these facilities and also someone like Izzy who knows so much and is able to look after them 24-7. My passion and what I love doing is <laughs> I love getting horses back to health. Ideally, I've got 10 rubber line boxes. They'd be full of horses that are on the aqua treadmill. I've got big big dreams. I was always like, D and I are going to get to Tokyo 2020. Maybe we won't, but you know, we still could. We still could get there.